Hey guys, welcome back to Homestead Prepping and Survival. Well, I told you in an earlier video that I got an egg from the first pen over here from these five month old. So I have not taken the time to build them nesting boxes. So just put them a good bundle down there on the ground. The egg I found was up here at the front edge, but Put them a bundle of hay down there on the ground. Maybe they'll make them a little nest out of it. So I can get a nesting box built for that pen. This one, their, their nesting boxes are still full and plenty on the ground to scratch. And I refilled these nesting boxes and packed it in kind of tight. Because they like to get up there and scratch and throw it all out. So, um, I'm already getting most most days two eggs over here i know there's at least three hens setting but i mean laying there's three roosters in there and eight hens so all these hens that are five months old should start laying within the next 30 days or so so they've got plenty of hay and nesting boxes and this is of course the older chickens that's um five hens and one rooster so they i normally get anywhere from three four five eggs a day um most of the time probably three and four but those those chickens are a year and a half almost two years old so all these that are running out right now are from that first pen i got the egg and i haven't gotten another one so that tells me they're getting into that cycle of being ready to start laying so I went ahead and put hay in there until I can get a nesting box built for in there. Um, that wasn't the original plan, but it is what it is. So um, I'll be fine. I think I ended up with 21 hens and seven roosters. So there's three, one, and three roosters. So if I can get 18 eggs in one day or whatever, great. But more than likely, once i start getting you know half a dozen or more a day from uh the first and the last pin then the older ones are going to get butchered if i have to do it with the by hand um plucker that i've got that goes in a drill then i'll do it that way it just takes a lot longer but you know i've only got seven that are old enough to really that need to be butchered before they get too old but um since i've got seven roosters i've got to decide i only need three so i've got to decide which roosters are going to get butchered when i butcher this the older chickens here and i want to keep the bloodlines mixed so i'll probably keep one blue orphington rooster one wine dot rooster if i have one i'm not sure that i've got a wine dot rooster and then um one of the original babies from that rooster there which is probably going to be the one that raised all these blue orphans and wine dots but either way just giving y'all a quick update um this will come out in the middle of the week i've already got videos done for the others so i appreciate y'all watching all the new subscribers thank you very much i have not had any chickens fly to pen since i clipped the one wing um they do try to fly but some of them make an immediate curve and some of them just don't leave the ground very far so clipping one wing has really helped a lot as far as not wanting to fly over this four foot fence so i'm still seriously considering adding another two feet of fence around it just to help prevent that um especially if i go with the automatic doors that i'm thinking of doing to let them out because once i get it down to just three roosters and you know the most dominant one like this fella here that likes to act like he wants to fight his daddy and all the rest of them he's gonna get butchered and the daddy's gonna get butchered and then i got i think four yes four blue orphington um roosters so two of those will get butchered or at least two maybe three 
if I can get a wine dot rooster, that'd be great. I'd keep it and then keep the the little red rooster that I hatched. So that would be good. That keeps my bloodlines mixed up really well. But it's later in the evening and uh, it's been a long day. <clears throat> so just want to do a quick update with y'all. I've been getting anywhere from five to six eggs a day. The, the older ones just aren't laying every single day. So, you know, it's all right. They are a year and a half, two years old. So it's, it's after about three years, they kind of stop laying most of the time. So that's no big deal. Uh, they will process good and go into the freezer and eventually the frying pan or the oven or whatever you want to call it. But either way, Wanted to do a quick update for y'all. Just show you. I still tend to my chickens every single day. Do what I got to do. Take care of the the few animals on the homestead. And, uh, I, you know, one day down the road, I plan to have even more. So, not more chickens. Um, although, I probably want about 40 total. Um, my goal is to have pigs and some goats. And, you know, maybe even a cow one day if I can get room for it don't know but it would be uh one that i raised to butcher and put in the freezer you know that type of thing so i don't have room on this property for it unless something drastic changes but either way guys i thank y'all very much all the new subscribers i appreciate y'all subscribing to the channel i've been trying to mix up the videos a little bit here lately to give the the gun enthusiasts some of what they want and the homestead enthusiasts some of what they want and you know i if there's something specific you want to hear about or learn or whatever let me know and if i can i'll try to do a video on it for you and uh we'll go from there so thank y'all very much remember the two things i tell you that's more important than anything else jesus christ loves you and so do i y'all be safe be prepared